do 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 Watching the film. What film are we watching? The last year. Um, E.T. That's the film we're watching. We're watching that film. The film we're watching. Um, So I got the book out. The first book here, right here, and this book it's it's a list. It's a book. It's a book that has lists in it. And what's the list? It's my ranking of my movies I've seen so far. And guess what? I've seen five movies. Where does E.T. rank? On the list of movies that I've ranked, I've watched, that I've ranked. Wait, I have to guess how much it was ranked? Yeah, I guess where it was ranked at. It was ranked at number one, or number two, or number three, possibly number four, or number five. Your five options. It's not hard. Number two? It's not number two. Number five? It's number five. You got it. Got it. It's number five. Like What's well, number two? Star Wars. That's number two. E.T. is last. I I don't like two of the movies on this list. And they're number four and number five. I don't like 2001 A Space Odyssey. I think it's really boring. And E.T. is bad. It's really annoying. I don't understand why people like that movie. It wouldn't be on like a least favorite movie of all time list or something, but it would be. It was bad. E.T., were you talking about E.T.? Yeah, the, this movie, E.T. Yeah. What else movie, what other movie could I be talking about? E.T. Yeah, the, the movie E.T., is there another movie called E.T. that isn't this movie that is E.T.? No, there's only one E.T. Out of ten, what would you rank this movie in called E.T.? What movie would you rank it? Five. Five out of ten? So it's, it's just average? Ten. Ten? Ten is the best movie ever? No one. One, one's the worst. I know. One's the worst, okay. No, one would be the top. No, it's one's the worst. Okay, Ten's one's the best. The okay, there would be one. It would be one. I wouldn't put this at one. I'd put it at like three. This is a three out of ten. I don't like this film. There's good things, but it's not, you know, it's not like terrible. I just don't like the film very much, honestly. Of course, I could go like, you know, there are very bad movies, but... You know, I can't really compare it to that. So let's go see. Don't say any of the movies that are on this list, okay? Because I don't want to spoil them for that. Guys, I'm just looking at it right now. So, what is your favorite part of the movie? Oh, um, I should have. Oh, this? Yeah, that movie. Part on the front cover. That That's the car, the cover. The the bike where you Yeah, that part. Yeah, that one. Guys dressed as a ghost and people seem to forget that. He's dressed as a ghost. A ghost. Boom. Um, Elijah. Okay. So tomorrow, guess what we're watching? We're watching The Godfather 2. We're watching part 2, the second Godfather movie. Yeah. But I don't watch The Godfather. Well, you don't have to watch it with me. We're not watching The Godfather, we're watching The Godfather 2, the second Godfather movie. No, but I don't know what the, the, the third Godfather movie, that, that one's terrible, that's the worst movie ever made. Not the fourth Godfather movie, that one has never been made, so, you know. I don't know what to say about this film, honestly, I'm just like, freaking bored, honestly. Most of the way through this, half of the way through it, I just got really bored. I mean, yeah, there were some, like, subtle adult jokes, I guess. Um, it's Steven Spielberg's highest-rated film on the list. Um, it's... Yeah, we're recording. What are you talking about? I'm going to check it. Recording right here. We're recording. It's... Watching. I've been recording for the past four minutes. I mean, it's not like, I mean, it's not a 
for me to be. It's not like a, a good movie though. I don't know why people give it such a high honor of it being really good. Honestly, it just feels like it. I think it would be one of those movies that would just kind of be forgotten. That's kind of like the thing I get from it. It's not a very fun film. It's really boring. I don't like it. It's but it can't stupid. be forgotten because it's uh, because it's because it started the video game crash. No, oh, a game based off of it started the video game crash. And also, most people don't even know about the video game crash. Elijah, it was a pretty obscure thing. Honestly. Anybody that wasn't born in North America wouldn't know anything about the video game crash. Anyway, uh, I mean, yeah. It's, I mean, I mean, it's like bad. That's all I have to say. It's a bad film. It's so bad. It's terrible. It's the worst film ever made, Elijah. The worst film ever made. It's probably not the worst film ever made. Worst film? United Nations or whatever that movie is called. Okay, right? Dad, what is the worst f film ever made in the world? The Death of a Nation. That's the worst film ever made. I'm just kidding. I don't know what the worst film ever made is. Next year, I'm going to do the worst films ever made. Top 12 worst films ever made. You think I should do that? Elijah, would you? I'm just going to do it. And I'm gonna, but the thing is, I can't find a definitive ranker of the worst films, so I'm just going to come up with the 12 worst films ever and I'm from several lists and just choose the ones that I think are the worst and then I'll just I'll I will disclude any horror films I'm not watching horror films for it because I don't want to watch the human centipede 2 or like Hannibal or whatever I don't I don't want to watch those those are just just, just bad you can watch you can watch the room and sit are you going to not, are you going to go below radar? Below radar? What? So are you going to watch movies that are radar? Yeah. I mean, okay. they're, 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 there are radar films in the best, in the series of the best films ever made, I think. Hmm. Is Schindler's List radar? We, we, we reviewed that one. It's another Steven Spielberg film, and I'm going to tell you this. This Steven Spielberg film is so much better. Schindler's List is so much better than this. Schindler's List is a heartwarming act of kindness in the middle of the Holocaust. It's amazing. It's great. It's so good. And then E.T. just fucking isn't even good at all. It's not good. It's just bad. It's bad. It's a bad movie. It's the worst movie ever made. I mean, obviously... But I mean, you know, what would you call? What would you say this is this best? Is this, uh, the best movie or the worst movie ever made? Would you get this out of like? Would you? Would you rather? Is it the worst or the best? Is it closer to the worst movie ever made or the best movie ever made? If you had to choose between, it would be one. That's no. If it was, if it was, um, if you had to choose between, between if this movie was gonna. If you could choose if this was either the best movie ever made or the worst movie ever made, which one would you choose? The worst movie ever made. I, yes, <laughs> that makes it the worst movie ever made automatically. But there's... There's not much to talk about in the film, honestly. I mean, yeah, it's it's not as bland as 2001, honestly. But, you know, the reason is because that film is differently paced. I mean, the sets are really good, though. The special effects are really good. I just honestly don't care about these kids, honestly. Like, especially the little girl. The little girl was really annoying. I hated the little girl. She was the worst. She was the worst part of the movie. I don't know. I really, it's hard to talk about this film. It's just bad. I mean, I, I kind of stopped paying attention about halfway through the movie. I mean, there was one funny part where where E.T. got really drunk and and Elliot got really drunk. Sam Elliot got really drunk. He was like friggin' wasted and he was drunk all the time. I wish I was 
like that, the movie. Because mm -hmm. they're interconnected. Yeah, they're like connected, yeah. Is this the, uh, is this, what is the best Steven Spiel, Steven Gielberg film ever made? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, Steven Gielberg, he did a lot of movies. He did, like, Indiana Jones, the Raiders, no, sorry, he did Raiders of the Lost Ark, he did, like, Star Wars, and he did, like, no, he didn't do Star Wars, no, that's George Lucas, sorry. He did Indiana Jones, and he did... Or no, he, he did Raiders of the Lost Ark, first Indiana Jones, and then he did E.T., and that was famous. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Jaws, which was the first summer blockbuster ever made. Or no, it was the first blockbuster, basically. Well, no, the first blockbuster was Birth of a Nation. It's a really good movie. Sorry. He also made, like, Schindler's List, and... <sighs> he made a lot of good movies, That's my point. I know he directed another one, but I just can't remember. It was, it was bad. I mean, no, it was good. He made, he made a lot of movies. He made some good ones. <coughs> <coughs> I don't think this deserves the, the, like, sustained title of the best film he's ever created. But it's not the worst film he's ever created. I mean, just because I don't know very much many films that he's directed... I'm going to go with the worst film Steven Spielberg has ever directed is um, Ready Player One. But that's just because I haven't watched very many of his films, honestly. Well, very many bad films. Most of his films are actually, like, really good, though. And he produced Ben and Black and Robert Zemeckis' um, Back to the Future, which is another movie we watched. Absolutely horrible. I don't know. I just don't know why E.T. is so popular. I mean, honestly, it's not really that good. I mean, it's it's like one of those family films. Like one of those 80s family films. It's a lot like Goonies or something. Goonies isn't even on the list. Like, I have Hollywood Reporter's Top 100 Best Films of All Time. Goonies not even on that. It's not even on the list. E.T.'s number, like, 8. It's like... Come on. Why is this movie so good? It's, or no, it's nine. Or no, no, it's, it's seven, I think. Cause it's, or maybe it's eight. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Elijah. I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> no. I don't even know. Well, I put that at like, um, I don't know, what's my favorite moment? Probably, like, the bike moment, but just because of how, like, you know, magical that is, kind of. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's it's just a family film. If you, you know, show it to your kids when they're really young. It was really an 80s film. Uh, really, the only thing that I could enjoy from it is the fact that the puppet that they used to make E.T. really realistic. There are a lot of good CGI. It's not like groundbreaking, but it's it's you know good for the time, I guess. Um, I mean maybe it's groundbreaking. I don't know. I just what? Okay, this review is a review of a uh, Birth of a Nation. What do you think, Elijah? Birth of a Nation. I have, well, I have watched it. Like, really? Why did you watch it? Like, what, what, what are you talking about, Elijah? I have watched it. Elijah, you tell them that you watched it, okay? I... You, you, you watched it, right, Elijah? You watched it. No, I didn't. What are you talking about, no. Elijah? You just... I was going to watch the movie. Just, just tell them that. I didn't. You didn't watch the movie because we we just watched it. What are you talking about? No, we didn't. We watched E.T. Oh, but what did you talk about E.T.? I've never heard of a movie called E.T. Is there a movie called E.T.? I've never heard of it. What's this? I've never seen this DVD case before. I've never seen it. Was this no. the guy flying on a scooter? And they got two... two That's the name of the movie. Two, two random dudes touching their fingers? I don't even... Do you remember that? Eddie? 
E-T. No, no, it's called E-T because it's not E-T. It's called it's it's extra extraterrestrial. Yeah, I see it right down there, extraterrestrial. So what did you think about Birth of a Nation, though? We didn't watch this film, so we got to watch. What did you think about Birth of a Nation? We didn't watch. Well, yes, no. we did. We no, watched I Birth of a Nation. No, what are you talking about? We, we watched it. We watched no, Birth of a Nation, right? No, I didn't. Yeah, we did. No. Sorry about this review. It's kind of drawn out because I just, I can't really think of very much to talk about. I mean, yeah, the dog, I guess, was cute. It's probably dead now. I mean, all the characters, I mean, all the kid actors probably grew up to be, like, heroin addicts, honestly. I mean, I made a few, like, cocaine jokes about the fact that they were drinking coke. But, I mean, you know, everyone's done that. It's really not interesting to talk about. I don't know what I have an opinion. This is the kind of the definition of what Steven Spielberg has done over the years. He makes crowd pleasing entertainment. He produces crowd pleasing entertainment. He directs crowd pleasing entertainment. He does everything until cats. And then when he p produced it, I don't know why. I mean, everyone knew it was going to be bad. I would have just drawn out, but whatever. After a trailer come out, I mean, but whatever. I'm just saying, you know, I haven't seen cats so it's probably bad though but you know he directs crowd pleasing entertainment he produces crowd pleasing entertainment i just don't think it's a very good film honestly so do you want to end it i think this has been our shortest review i just don't care i just don't really there's nothing to talk about so let's, so let's talk about birth of a nation Oh, no, no, no. You just saw Birth of a Nation. You literally no, just I saw didn't. it. We just finished watching Birth of a Nation. No, we didn't. just finished watching it. We literally just finished we're watching like, it. We're like, almost the end of the review. Why? Well, why did you, like, just watch Birth of a Nation? What did you think? You gotta keep it. I guess. Just, just tell them that you watched Birth of a Nation. Just tell them that. And, and just pick up something. I don't know. What, what rate is it? What, what I don't know. It was made in 1915. I don't. I don't think they had ratings back then. I would say I am eight. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch Birth of the Nation. I'll, I'll, I'll pay you. I'll pay you to say it. Mm -hmm. I'll pay you like twenty dollars. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you think of Birth of a Nation? What did you think of Birth of a Nation? It's just our review of Birth of a Nation. We watched, we're reviewing it right now. We just watched it. What do you think? Wait a second. Mm-hmm. No! <laughs> did you just stop it? No, you just stop. You didn't stop it. <sighs> What did you think about Birth of a Nation, Elijah? What did you think? What did you think of Birth of a Nation? You tell me. You tell me or else I'm going to... I'm done. Oh what did you think? There's something in my eye. There's something in my eye. I'll put another thing in your eye if you don't tell me what no, you that, thought about no, Birth no, of a Nation. No, no, no. What are those flies Tell me what you thought about Birth of a Nation or else I'll kill you if you don't tell me what you thought about Birth of a Nation. Get out of the way of the camera. Sit down here. What did you think? That I didn't watch it? But that's, we just watched the film! <laughs> no! We literally just watched it. Just, just, I'll, I'll pay you like $50. You just tell them that you saw it. Make up some, some, some like review. Make up a review or something. Uh, just do something. Where should I turn the camera off? You didn't turn the camera off. Well, what if I did? You didn't because I just checked. The worst I did. Um, then I we wouldn't be recording. I don't know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, but you didn't tell me what you thought about Birth of a Nation, Elijah. You just tell me. How did you even tell you? Say it all out. I'll pay you a hundred dollars if you just make up a review for Birth of a Nation. I didn't want Birth of a Nation. A hundred and fifty-five dollars. I'll pay you everything I own. I'll get out my what is it? My wallet. I'll get it out. Wait, are you, are you actually being serious? No, I'm not. I watch Buzz of the Nation. Hey, I gotcha.
I know you got, got me.